Hello and welcome to today's video. Do you love shipping container homes? This video brings to you an amazing 4 bedroom, 3 bathroom shipping container house with floor plans. Stay tuned as we give you a tour of this amazing house design. Good, welcome back. This video brings to you Modbox 1280 Crossbox. This is a modern shipping container modular home design formed by combining two pairs of stacked shipping containers to create an elegant four bedroom crossbox modular home. This video covers a complete presentation in full color with dimension drawings, a cost estimate checklist and 3D floor plans that you can use on your own shipping container project. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our inspiring weekly videos on amazing design ideas from shipping containers. First we look at the design concept. This design uses two pairs of 40 foot shipping containers stacked in a cruciform to create a cross box. This is a two storied shipping container house designed using four 40 foot shipping containers. We look at the foundation design. Before the container modules are delivered on site, it's advisable to have an appropriate foundation to accommodate your new build. Use a raised foundation level to elevate the containers away from moisture. The elevated position of the containers will also provide a height necessary to construct a deck or an outdoor seating depending on the foundation used. In this house design, we've used a concrete pier foundation. You can watch our previous presentation on five foundation types to use on a shipping container house for more understanding. This four bedroom house has an open plan design which accommodates the following salient features. On the ground floor from the entrance lobby, you access the living room which has an open plan kitchen and a dining table that can sit a maximum of eight people. It also has a spacious lounge opening to the outdoor family terrace access through the full height sliding doors and also the Juliet balconies. From the entrance lobby on your left, you can access the guest bedroom which has a clock room adjoined to it. The kitchen is a fully fitted space with direct access to a laundry room and an outdoor kitchen yard seating. When you take the staircase up, you land onto the first floor into a rompers room, which can also double up as a TV room or a children playroom. From here, you can access two other bedrooms on the right hand side or go to the master bedroom ensuite with a walk in closet on the right. The master bedroom is fully furnished with a mini lounge and a private balcony seating and an additional Juliet balcony on the side. This design series uses a standardized optimal sized windows and doors which do not require any specialized modification to the walls of the shipping containers, save for the full height 3 meter wide glass doors opening to the outdoor terraces and Juliet balconies. Adequate fenestrations for the lighting are necessary to help kill the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container. The staircase is the vertical link joining the ground floor space and the first floor space of this amazing house design and therefore it also acts as a structural member or structural element that ties up the two levels of the house together. You are also encouraged to observe proper structural reinforcement, especially on the ground floor level where we have an open plan living space that requires additional reinforcement to 
take care of all the internal walls that were cut out and also remember to introduce cross beams in areas where the upper shipping containers are crossing on the lower level of shipping containers to create that cross form arrangement and therefore additional reinforcement is mandatory in those particular crossings. Next we look at the interior design. You are encouraged to adopt a minimalist interior design when furnishing your shipping container house. You are encouraged to use space saving furniture ideas like Murphy beds to allow for multifunctional use of the space without littering the space with too much furniture. Due to limiting dimensions of shipping containers, you are encouraged to use light colored finishes to make the interior space appear brighter and bigger. Use flat pack cabinets for the wardrobes rather than custom units since they are versatile and they come in a range of sizes and colors to choose from. Flat packs in the kitchen will also help you save on time and money. To preserve the industrial feel of living in a shipping container house, consider using similar materials to finish the kitchen backsplash area and the bathroom walls. This repetitive theme will help create a harmonious interior space. Insulation and temperature control. The interior of the living space is lined with an appropriate insulation material depending on the climate where you want to build. Insulation is also essential to prevent condensation which can corrode the containers and cause mold formation. To achieve the best results in cold climate locations, you are encouraged to use closed cell spray foam insulation. In tropical climate, keeping away heat from your shipping container house is the biggest challenge. Therefore, insulation blanket with plasterboard lining will do just fine. Outdoors and exterior design. A deck is a quick and an easy way to add extra living space to the rather limited space inside a shipping container. In this design, we have added a wooden deck on the entire space that is fronting the upper pair of shipping containers which acts as outdoor sitting space to the bedrooms and also the rompers room. We've also provided an entire outdoor sitting space on the lower level shipping containers to also act as an outdoor sitting space from the living room and also an entrance porch to the house. The original cargo doors have also been retained on one end of the shipping containers to create a pair of Juliet balconies to the living room and the master bedroom respectively. There is also a generous roof terrace on top of the lower pair of shipping containers which is accessed directly from the landing of the staircase lobby. The house exterior comes with a corrugated steel container exterior. If you are using a one trip container, consider leaving the exterior as it is with its original color and markings to preserve its charm and history. This will also help you to save on the cost of giving your exterior a fresh coat of paint. Next we look at the roof design. The house is covered with a signature standard seam flat roof which is popular in our modern shipping container homes. We've also provided a rooftop terrace space on top of the lower ground level shipping containers which acts as a private family roof terrace. You are encouraged to carry out proper waterproofing on the roof terrace to avoid any leakages. Try out other types of roofs that you find appropriate to use. Cost estimate checklist. The mod box 1280 cross box home design comes with a cost estimate checklist. This is an itemized checklist to guide you on the things you need to consider when planning for your own shipping container project. So you are encouraged to go through it. If you find there is an over provision, feel free to remove what is not necessary. And if there is any omissions, feel free to increase and add what you find appropriate so that you can have a complete checklist to help you on your budgeting and planning for your new shipping container build. Feel free to consult an expert in your country 
for the factual figures and estimates. Drawings and details. If you like this design and you want to make an extension to your existing house or you want to build your dream house using shipping containers, feel free to visit our website and purchase blueprints and give them to your builder or fabricate it yourself as a DIY project. The standard set of drawings come with in DWG and PDF formats to suit your preference. The set of drawings have dimensioned floor plans, elevations, roof plan, foundation plan, and a section detail. For any revisions, design inquiries, and custom designs, contact us on our website, sheltermode.com. So, what do you feel about our new shipping container home modular design? Do you have any questions? Do you like it? Feel free to comment by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration, visit our YouTube channel to check out on our other shipping container homes designs. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our weekly videos on shipping container homes and amazing shipping container designs. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.